Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Virgo love prediction reading for April 18th through April 24th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled honored and very grateful if you decide to do that thank you in advance if you do let's see what's going on with my loyal kind sweet loving virgos what's going on my virgo spirit guys show me what's going on with my loving loyal sweet virgos show me spirit guys let's see virgos what you got going on the star Ten of Wands, the Magician, Eight of Cups, and the Two of Wands. I'm going to tell you what I see with this reading, Virgo. You want some this monkey, you want a monkey off your back. And the reason I say that is that you want whomever or whomever you, were, you wanted to be with. It didn't happen, but it's still such a burden to you. Because here's the star card that's leading your reading. And the star card can be an Aquarius person, but also the star card is a card of hope. It is a card of hope. Um, and there is something or someone, it's like you want a monkey off your back. When I say a monkey, a person out of your thoughts, someone off your mind, you want to end that. You want to end a burden. You're hoping that the universe allows you to end a burden. But I don't know what's going to happen here because you have the magician that's in the middle of your reading. You want to end it, but it's almost like you want to end it for a for something else. And, and I don't know if there's something else is starting with them again or for a new beginning with someone else. But there is something here or someone here that you want to end. You want this monkey off your back. You want to release them. You're tired of the burdens here. And here is a magician that's in the middle of your reading. The magician is, is magic. It's manifestation. It's you're asking the universe. You're asking the universe to walk away from this. Because you have the Eight of Cups next. Someone or something that you want to walk away from. But the problem is, is that it's still there. You can't release the energy. The energy is still there. But you want to release this energy. And here you have the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is um, a card of beginnings, of new beginnings, a card of beginnings, a card of beginning to, to make those moves, make those steps to move on from something. But see, it's something that's holding, I don't know, there's something here. You want, there's great hope here the, the, with the beginning of the reading. But there's also manifestation here. There's also manifestation. And is the manifestation just simply because you want to release this person? Do you want to release this person? Or do you want to begin with this person? That's probably why you can't release this energy. You're trying desperately to walk away, but it's something about them that you can't release. Because still, here's a new beginning. You do want a new beginning, but you want to manifest here as well. So it's almost like it's a double thing. Deep in your heart, you want, you're you saying, please allow take this burden from me. Take this, whomever this is, take this energy from me. Take their energy from me. But yet, still, you want to manifest their energy too. But yet, you want to walk away. I almost see this reading as a little bit on and off. You want one thing, but yet you still want another. That's what I see with this reading. Someone that you still want to be with, but yet you want the burden to be taken off of you. You don't want to keep thinking about them if you're not going to be with them. But what you really want, because this is what you manifested, um, you really want um, to be with them. But then here it is again. You want to walk away from them. But here it is again. You want to have a new beginning. It's like a, a read. This reading is, is really crisscross. It's like you want them. You hope for them. You want to release the burden, but you're still manifesting here in the middle. You want to walk away from them, but yet you still want a new beginning. 
This is <laughs> this is a reading here, Virgo. So let's see here. If this is your read, this is your read. Sit back and just relax and let me clarify the cards. Give me another three to five minutes and let me just clarify the cards for you. Let me clarify the cards to see what the spirit guides want you to know. If this is your read, sit back, relax, and let me clarify the cards for you. Why is this star card here for my Virgo? Show me spirit guides. Why is this star card here for my Virgo? Oh, you have the ace of wands. Ugh. You do want a new beginning. Uh, Ace of Wands is a new beginning, but the Ace of Wands is also a, a card of being a, a, a very romantic. can be a very romantic card. Wink, wink. You know what I mean? But for this particular reading, you there's something here that you hoped for, and it could have been that you hoped to get on one to get with them or to be um, be with them because this Ace of Wands is a new beginning too, and it's possibly that you want a new beginning with them. But yet, I told you, this is a re this is one of those readings I do, but I don't. I do, but I don't. Very indecisive reading. Um, but the Ace of Wands here is a new beginning, and also it can be something that you hope for. A new beginning but you also hope that you would get to the point with them that you could have a loving relationship wink wink you know what I mean but it didn't get to that point so let's see why the ten of wands is here show me spirit guys why is the ten of wands here knight of pentacles okay here's the problem here Virgos you move too slow you move too slow that's what the problem is you know uh, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy there is. So, you know, you this person, what well, you felt like, you can't release this energy because it still has not left you totally. It still is lingering there. You are so indecisive about this. You don't know what to do or which way to go because this person still is on your mind. So let's see why this magician is here. That Knight of Pentacles said you're putting one foot in front of the other, but it's a very slow moving process. Let's see why the magician card is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the magician here? Show me spirit guys. Knight of Cups. Yeah, see, see, I'm telling you, Virgo, you're being indecisive. Because here's this magician here. You're releasing this burden. You said you're releasing this. You want to release a burden. <laughs> but here you are manifesting it again. And here's the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is an energy of trying to show someone your loyalty um your trustworthiness charm being very charming toward them that's what you want that's what you're trying to show that's what you're trying to show but that is what you have here this is a very on and off reading when i say on and off not really on and off but indecisive very indecisive because now you're manifesting again now you're manifesting so let's see why is this eight of cups here show me spirit guys why is the eight of cups here Oh my, this could be a Taurus person. But the Hierophant means this person you looked at as a possible mate. A marriage mate. That's what the problem is. That's why it's hard to, for you to release this energy. There is something here. That energy is still here. Um, you tried to walk away from that energy, but you're not able to. You're not able to walk away from the energy. So let's see why is this Two of Wands here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Two of Wands here for my Virgos? Uh, two of Pentacles. Did I tell you? Goodness gracious. Come on, Virgo. All this is is just a juggling of emotions. You know, one minute you want to be with them, and one minute that Two of Pentacles means just juggling emotions when it comes to this situation. Because you have the star card. Let's start at the beginning. This is a very hopeful card. Could be an Aquarius person. But it's all about hope. Because you were hoping for possibly a new beginning with someone. But you also were hoping that you could release the burden. You wanted to get them off your back, off your mind. That's with this Ten of Wands here. You wanted to release this. But the problem is, is that you're moving so slow. And it's very, very, very slow energy. Unfortunately, it's a very, very slow energy. And that's what the problem is. You're stuck in this energy because you're, you're taking too long to make a decision. You took too long to make a decision. Here's a magician here. Here we, Now, you want to release them, but you want to be with them. You want to release them, but you want to be with them. But here's this magician here, which is the manifestation. You're manifesting again. And here's the Knight of Cups because you know something about them. You want to show them your charm, your loyalty, your kindness. What you can bring to the table for them. But here's right here the Eight of Cups. And here you're walking away. But you can't walk away. 
Because of Hierophant. This is someone that you saw as possibly a marriage partner. That's, and it could be a Taurus person, but that is exactly what's going on. Because you have the Two of Wands next. And the Two of Wands is all about um, beginning to make steps for the future. But guess what? You can't do that with the Two of Pentacles there. Because you're still juggling emotions for them. You can't move forward until you finish what you got. You still have them. They're all over you. You can't release the energy. I don't know, but you're going to have to make a decision to release the energy in order for you to move to the next level or to move on to someone or make the decision that you're going to go after them. But this reading just tells me that you're very indecisive in what you want to do. Because one minute you want to marry them, one minute you, you know, you want to release the burdens. One minute you're manifesting and the next minute you're, you know, you're trying to figure out how you can start again or how you can move towards some things. And when I say some things, move toward getting away from them because there's this Eight of Cups to having a new beginning and making steps for a new beginning. But guess what? You still got that Two of Pentacles there, so you're still juggling this emotion. You can't do anything because you're too indecisive about this love that you still have in your heart. So let's see here. Show me angel oracles. Let's see what my angel oracles have to say. What do my angel, angel oracles have to say about this? Let's see. Well, they tell you to trust the universe. In other words, you got to make a decision and trust them. Well, the decision that you made is because... You have talked to the universe and you and the universe have, or when I say talk to the universe, you have asked the universe and you have manifested this, which you were trying to do in the middle of the read. And then trust the universe that it's going to, this person is going to be for your best interest and move forward. Make a decision. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading.